Now, just like with cacio e pepe or carbonara, very few ingredients, very traditional in my family, tomato and onion salad. For the dressing for this, I'm gonna make a really simple, simple dressing that marries lemon juice with a little grated or mashed garlic and a little splash of wine vinegar, a touch of honey for sweetness, and a little olive oil, salt and pepper. Now, the tomato and onion salad, my mom and I make it more often than not with just salt and a little olive oil on top. This one I'm making a light honey dressing to balance the flavor of a couple garnishes we're gonna put on the salad. We're gonna finish this salad with a little fresh horseradish, which is lovely with the sugary sweetness of the tomato, um, but it's super spicy. So I wanted a sweet dressing to balance the fresh horseradish. And the reason I started putting a little fresh horseradish on this is they opened a restaurant near um, where my husband and I live in New York. And when we're in the city, we go there a lot because they have a bocce court. In fact, it's called bocce. And I love bocce ball. So it's a place where you can, while you're waiting for pizza, play bocce, yay. Um, and I had a cucumber salad there. And in compliment to them, I thought, oh, that is so delicious. Fresh horseradish on cucumber is fabulous. So I just started adding the fresh horseradish to our family go-to salad, tomato, cucumber, and onion. And it's a lovely little combination. All I'm gonna do is arrange this on a big platter. And I'm gonna mix in some chilies because my garden grew so many of them this year. I have chili peppers coming out my ears. And then I'm gonna pour that sweet dressing down over the top with the honey and the lemon. It's just salad dressing, people. <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of that fresh horseradish. And then I love the balance of horseradish with fresh mint. So I'm gonna put some mint and parsley up on top of this. And we toasted up some pistachios, which I always have in my freezer. I love them. I keep the nuts in the freezer because nuts have oil and oil spoils. So the longer you keep, if you want to keep them and use them several times, like you buy a big package of pine nuts or walnuts or something, I keep them in the freezer so the oil never spoils. Um, this is really all there is to do except add the cheese. We've got a cacio e pepe working in the back. Uh, let's take a quick break and come on back and I'll show you how to add the cheese.